We're not just digging holes. As we dig, we're thinking really carefully about where we're digging next, how we're removing objects, when we're removing objects. The big difference between digging a hole in your backyard and digging an archeological site is all of the thought that goes into it and all of the teamwork. So world archeology span is primarily um, a class where we work on things like discovering different methodologies or reviewing different methodologies. We talk about site management, everything from licensing and grants and permissions, things like that, to the technical methodologies of excavation. The dig simulator first came about because I thought it would be nice to have students get some hands-on experience. The simulator kind of gives them a chance to get a good running start, to feel what it's like to actually excavate, to get out there, get their hands dirty, really get involved in archeology span as a whole. Definitely low stakes, high reward kind of situation. We wound up sort of pre-laying a site. We went down to a certain given depth and then laid a site out and then backfilled. And we got lucky because the area that we're using to build our site is one where there used to be a house. So there are all kinds of objects already in the backfill for students to practice recording. So first we can field walk, we do survey, and then we set up our trenches. Everybody learns how to create a perfectly square trench. We lay our trenches, we take our preliminary recordings, everything from preliminary photographs, um, to preliminary drawings, and then we hop in and we start peeling back using trowels, peeling back those top layers of soil. I think this class gives a better appreciation of scholastic archaeology. Uh, not the Indiana Jones stuff, but it sort of contextualizes history that having the chance to excavate a site that has been put together by hand where we should be able to figure out what everything is, nothing integral is missing from the picture. I think it, it gives students a better grasp of, of what we do, how difficult it can be, but how much fun it is. And it sort of brings history to life. They learn what it feels like, everything from weather to the feel of the different soils, to recognizing different soil consistencies and colors. They learn not to pop out artifacts as they, <laughs> as they find them, but to dig down around them so that we can get a better understanding of where they are stratigraphically, where they fall in the different la layers of earth. An integral part of being on any archeological team is just that, being on a team. And so I think that um, that experience as a whole for a lot of students has been eye-opening. That archaeology isn't just reading books or digging holes, it's communicating with your teammates, it's working together with your teammates, it's figuring out what works for all of you.